Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be a demo slash review. What I'm going to be showing you is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and this is it here. I've obviously used it so it's out of the packaging. Um, so yeah, this is by Real Techniques, um, so that's Sam and Nick Chapman um, here on YouTube. They created a range of brushes which you've no doubt heard plenty about because they're absolutely everywhere, they're fantastic. Um, but yeah, I decided to invest in this and give it a go because I always like the thought of the Beauty Blender but I never got around to purchasing that one and this is like a cheaper alternative. It's $5.99 from Boots. Um, you'll probably get it in Superdrug as well actually. Um, so really, really cheap and affordable and I just thought I would give it a go and I'm so, so glad that I did because I have fallen in love with this. This is amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is just basically show you show you me applying my foundation with this um, so show you a little demo of it and just how I go about it um, and then after that I will talk about some pros of the product and um, just discuss what I love about it so yeah I hope you're going to enjoy it and let's get started many things that I love about this sponge. Um, so what you basically need to do is wet it every single morning. You can use it dry but I just don't know if it's going to have the same effect. I've never used it dry so I can't comment on that but personally I think when it's wet it just blends um, your foundation really really well. So you wet the sponge and another tip that I have is I actually wet it under hot water and yet again I feel like the mornings that I've used hot water my makeup's been better than the mornings I've used cold water and I don't know whether that's just the heat blends the product in as well um, so yeah that's another tip for it and um, yeah so what I love about it is that it is really cheap and affordable and one thing I don't know if, if anyone else feels like this if you use a foundation brush for example my Real Techniques buffing brush or my Sigma F80 brush the problem with them is they actually hold the product my powder brush my blush blush brushes they don't hold the makeup and um, you know when I wash them I can get them completely clean however I feel like I never get my foundation brushes clean I don't know what it is I think the product just gets in there and it stays there and it won't disappear so I wanted something that was going to be really easy to clean and it was going to be a little bit more hygienic to be honest and that's kind of why I decided to give this a try and um, now the great thing about it is I don't actually think it holds much product in the sponge and um, I don't think it absorbs a lot because whenever I wash this in the morning well put water on it in the morning to use it again there doesn't seem to be dirty water coming off of it which makes me think that it doesn't absorb it and that whatever product you have just goes straight onto the face and doesn't stay in the sponge so I think it's more hygienic and since I've been using it I've actually had less breakouts than before when I was using my brushes so that can only be a good sign. Now another great thing about this is the fact that you can actually pick whether you want light coverage, medium or heavy coverage. I can get a really light coverage of my Estee Lauder Double Wear with this sponge 
I don't know how that's possible but I actually can um, so it can go on really really thinly and not look as cakey or you know if I'm going on a night out I can apply it a little bit heavier it just depends how much you're putting on the sponge if you just take a little bit and put it on your face and kind of rub it all in then it will be a lighter coverage so that's something I feel you can get with a sponge that you can't get with a brush as you can really pick the coverage that you want Another thing that I love about it is it has this pointy end here which is great for getting in and around the nose and really blending the product whereas with a brush it's not as easy to get in those areas and sometimes they can be left out. Something else which might be a really silly point but I don't know if anybody else would like the thought of this. Um, I'm always kind of rushing in the morning and what this actually does is I'm putting the product in the back of my hand and I'm getting it on the sponge from there. Um, but because it's like a wet sponge it actually clear, like cleans your hand. Like it doesn't leave any product like I used to get with my brush. I would have a massive area which I'd have to wash off. But this actually cleans the product off of your hand and then you don't have to even wash your hands. So it's brilliant. The other thing that I wanted to mention about it as well is, you know how when you're using a brush you can often get lines and kind of streaks on your face? This has none of that. It just blends in smoothly and just amazingly and it's just so easy to use. It's so, so quick um, and just does the job perfectly. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to move away from this anytime soon. So my foundation brushes are at the back of my cupboard and I'm just using this sponge at the moment and um, this is my second one that I just bought a couple of days ago and um, because I've got my first one here which is a little bit dirty I think I need to give it a good wash and um, and it actually has some cuts in it so here's another tip for you as well if you have long nails like mine although they're like really badly chipped sorry about that and um, but if you have long nails like mine and you're squeezing it to get the water out squeeze your nails onto your hand and not the sponge because you'll actually rip the sponge so that's why this one has a few holes in it but it's still good to go and I could still use it so I've got a couple of these at the moment and I don't think I'll be using anything else anytime soon all right so I hope you enjoyed this video and it was somewhat helpful now if you have any questions pop them down below and I'll definitely get back to you um, and I hope this has maybe made you decide whether you want to purchase this or not and um, because it really is a great thing to be using it's so easy so cheap and affordable and I just love it. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!